I saw somebody asked me last time how to export the terrain into a 3D. So it can be done into CAD file. So now we can check it out how it's done. So what we did last time, we had a, a leader file that we created a, that it, from that we created a, a raster. We created the last raster terrain uh, file out of it. Um, so in order to export this file to um, to 3D or to CAD software outside of ArcGIS, we need to run a few geoprocessing commands uh, or convert it to TIN. So let's say raster to TIN. And this is the most important. So we select the, the raster, which is the only this one that we use. And this is the most important uh, setting that there is in, in this process. So, so far, we will just leave it as it is uh, automatic. And just remember raster thin and this to Z tolerance is 27. So we just run it as it is. Okay, the raster is created, then we will run another one, raster to thin. So we will put the same raster in it, and we will reduce this number to by 10, let's say 2 or 3 or 1. It depends how fine, how much detail do you want into your... Uh, into your team file okay so let's rename it just we don't that we don't forget so this one had a z tolerance of 27 or something and this one had a z tolerance of 2 okay so the next command that we need to run is a thin triangle. So okay, we got, so if we switch this one off, we will see there is no big difference between one thin and the other. So if I turn this, this off, it's not really yeah it's a little more detail but not by much so this is automatic so team triangle triangle Oops. so let's convert the first one so input team of 27 tolerance we just leave it as it is and run it okay and then the second one again in triangle and we will input the thin surface with the z tolerance of two and this one this will take a little more time to calculate so now it uh, the, the program has showed us the the first so we can also turn this one on because this is again this is a 3d 3d object so this is a raster well a thin raster surface uh, with z tolerance of 27 and uh, the one with the tolerance of two it's still calculated that but it won't be too long so you can see here it calculates the mesh the triangles how many of them 
there are so the the, the smaller the z tolerance the more detailed the generates the the features so you can see it already now by now that it's much more detailed so the next step is just one more step before exporting we need to export this um, or convert this 3d layer um, to a feature class so this one so this will create it for real into it will just we will just um, we will just um, convert the last one so this will this will create it uh, into a mesh so convert it into a mesh so it basically it's a multi patch a multi patch object so and last command export to cat So this one I usually choose an earlier version so don't have any compatibility issues and let's just put it into a desktop that's okay then and run it Uh, this is our file so we can open uh, can open Rhino or whatever or AutoCAD or something we need to open it we already have everything set and this is our mesh file already imported 